bad fellas cave oh oh no 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 I, I didn't mean i didn't mean i didn't mean it don't oh. okay so after looking through the last videos that i made i came to a realization that okay so from that last video i came to a realization some of these blade quests i'm not gonna be able to do until we continue the actual main story morag and her blades got most of the spotlight in the last episode so in this episode we're just gonna do the blades that nia has since i don't usually play nia because she's a healer now nia only has two blades that i have to do a quest for those blades being dahlia and nim I'm stronger than this, you know? Much, much stronger. And somehow Nia remains the highest level person here. My incredible power knows no bounds. Bro, Nia's the highest level person here. What is your secret? How do you do this? Oh, what's this? A visitor at this time of night? I don't know why I'm putting on an accent. It's my daughter, Christina. She hasn't come home this evening. So why do you have to seek Dahlia out specifically for a missing child? She said she'd been talking to someone called Dahlia recently, so I thought you might have some idea where she went. Oh, is that that little girl that we saw? Oh, okay. It's just an idea, but she might have gone looking for moon drops. I told her they only bloom at night, see? You mean she might be wandering outside a field soir right now? Well, I can't say for sure, but I guess this is probably my fault ain't nobody told that girl to go out there and do that don't take the blame for that those things sticking out of the back of her foot are creeping me out it's like heels oh i get it it's like heels i oh i thought i was stuck in a glitch i'm about to say don't make me start this over we're not even 10 minutes into this all right you know what okay dahlia i know that this is your mission but I love this. It's like the best like free roaming movement in the game. I wish Dromart moved faster than everybody else. And like, if I'm riding Mufasa, you gotta let me go fast, man. Well, this is definitely the place that girl told us about, but I don't see Christina anywhere. Don't tell me she got eight. I don't want to get gruesome on everyone, but could she have collapsed and be buried in the snow? Damn, Nia. If she is, we gotta find her and quick. Let's dig up this whole place. The whole place? Oh yeah, this is definitely the one. Ah! Well, that sure ain't Castina. Who the heck are you anyway? And what are you doing here? Friends should call me Sage. Just say, aren't you the motherfucker from the land of challenge? <laughs> was in such deep meditation, did not notice when snow piled up on top of me. Almost became Nopon Icicle. What would a Nopon Icicle taste like? Don't worry, Tora, I'll find out. But me feel like me has achieved new level of enlightenment from experience. Ah, yes, frostbite. Listen, did you see a Tantalese girl around here? We heard she was coming over this way. Man, man, Tantalese girl. Feel like may have seen or maybe not don't play with me bitch give us a straight answer would you her life might be on the line here if friends give offering a of food maybe it helped me remember i want to kill this little chicken right now there's a little girl that's probably freezing to death right now and we got and we not gonna tell us because you want food let me kill him let me do it no yeah threaten him it's oh no later man dromar you can literally fit his whole body into your mouth alone just threaten him with that why do we need ice there that should do it Ah, yes, yes, me remember everything. Girl who friends looking for did come here, run off, ran off towards Pillar City ruins. Me not know where girl was looking for, but quite dangerous by alone. Friends should go and help girl quick, quick. Yeah, thanks for wasting all of our time, fucker. Oh, she passed out. Okay, so, uh, it's a good thing that this is, like, not real, because if this is realistic, that girl would be dead. Huh? Pretty lady... Dahlia? You almost died for no reason. Are you all right? You're not hurt, are you, hun? No, I'm okay. Well, that is a relief. I was real worried, you know? I mean, she was basically like five minutes away from death. <laughs> Bro, I whooped y'all asses so many times before. Ah! Yeah, spike that bitch. <laughs> Don't you worry, hun. You'll be just fine with us, I promise. I'm not just a pretty lady, you know? I can also kick Monster Heine. That's the kind of dialogue I expect. That's why Vale, when she was just like swearing up a storm, was just like a, a shock to me. Damn, why are y'all spamming that swing? Castina, thank goodness you're all right. Thank you so much for finding my daughter. She was like five seconds away from death. I'm letting you know right now. Thanks, pretty lady Dahlia. No need to thank me, hon. I'm just glad you're all right. Instead, could you promise me you'll never do a thing like this again? <laughs> Why'd you go to a dangerous place like that all on your own? Didn't you want to grow up and be all pretty? You can't do that if you get yourself killed. Those fingers are still creeping me out. I just... 
really wanted to find one of these. Why, those are moon drops. Uh-huh. They're the flowers you said you liked. Ah, that's kind of precious. I only managed to get two of them. But I wanted to give them to you as a super special present. For me? Yep. <laughs> Even moon drops aren't as beautiful as what I'm looking at right now. More pretty than moon drops. Uh-huh. I'm talking about your sweet little heart, hun. And to think people didn't like Dahlia for her design. But that pure and tender heart of yours is more beautiful than anything in this world. I guess you're a little young to understand, huh? But one day, you'll see what I mean. Oh, yeah. I gotta give you something in return, too. Feast your eyes on this. What are you about to do? Wow! That's amazing! That actually looks pretty cool. There you go. Do you like it? I love it! Thanks a million, Dahlia! No. Thank you, sweetie. Hey, listen! I'm gonna become the prettiest, coolest driver ever. And then I'm gonna find you again and make you my very own blade. Is that a threat? You wanna be my driver. Yeah. Is that a threat? <laughs> well, I think that's great. One of us gotta die first. Though, I want you to know, my driver right now is tough as an old boot. That... <laughs> <laughs> you might be waiting quite a while. Wow, you're literally anticipating my death, you little shit. You sure you want to just stand there smiling? This girl's a proper go-getter. If you're not careful, she might steal me away from you one day. Yeah, like, try to murder me. Goodness. Well, that doesn't sound great, but don't you worry. You said it yourself. I'm tough enough to take any challenge. I did say that, didn't I? I guess I can rest easy then. Let's make this partnership a long and fruitful one. All right, so I'm going to be a man of my word. The next blade that we're going to do the quest for is Nim. More of me coming up later. Uh, it's coming up right now, actually. That's convenient. Uh, hi, hello. You looking kind of forlorn. There's something... <laughs> I don't know why. I always thought to say forlorn was funny. Forlorn. You, you can understand me? Yes, yes, I can. Hmm, yes, I can see you're different from other people. Gee, I wonder why. All you need to know is that you can tell me about anything that's bothering you. Seriously, like, it's, why is her, why does her face look like that? Why does she have a dog snout? Well, okay then. You see, I have this childhood friend named Pex. However, he went off some time ago and has yet to come back. He doesn't seem to be in the village and I can't very well go off looking for him myself. I'm worried he might have gotten wrapped up in some bad stuff. What is going on with her feet? What is this? Yes, it makes sense. Don't worry, Nim will sort it out. I bet I know what happened. I'm sure Pex has been taken away by Ardanians. Casual racism? What? Have you seen the weird gizmos they put on Titans? Ardanians can't possibly be good guys. That is awkward, considering that, like, Morag is right there. I suggest you visit our village then. Pex might have passed through there at some point. That must be the phonics village that Mix told us about. Are we gonna go inside of the hole? Pause? Don't feel like talking to you. Stay back, I say. Oh, damn. Bro, you could have just said no. You didn't have to say all that. Mix, you gotta come with us. They not gonna let us in. They racist. Ah, okay, so he chased you away. You should be fine if you just bring him something to eat. You again? I told you I've got nothing to say to you. Here, I brought you a little something. You like these, right? Yo ho, pin fins. They're not poisoned, are they? Why are you so hateful? Well, you did all right by me with the pin fin, so I guess I could tell you stuff. And where might Pex be now? Ah, he gathered some more pals and they left, saying they'd go another country or whatever. Someone said they'd boarded a boat to Uriah. Uriah, not more Ardane? Stop with the racism, then. No, I'm pretty sure it was Uriah. No way, wait, what if? They may have gotten targeted by the Ardanians after they landed. I'm amazed that Morag and Bridget have not said anything about this while she is just shitting on their country. Later. You know, I am so curious as to what's in there. I don't want to be curious no more. What's in here? What is this place? Bad Fellas Cave? Oh! Oh, no, 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 no. I, I didn't mean, I didn't mean, I didn't mean it. Don't act all. 
I fucked around too much. I almost found out. Let me go ahead and keep go, go on my mission. Hey, this isn't relevant to the video at all, but I just got into Yu-Gi-Oh like really hard yesterday. Like I made my first deck. I'm pretty proud of it. Do you know where Pex is now? I thought he was just talking to his friends, but then he goes and declares he's going to Temperantia. Kept talking about looking for hardened companions for a bit. Then off he went. Some kids in tow. If I recall, weren't there Ardanian troops stationed in Temperantia? Okay, see now she's talking to Morag this time. Yes, that is correct. That's bad. That's really very bad. If Ardanians catch them, they might eat them, or worse yet, skin them. We must hurry to their rescue. Nim, you're exaggerating again. Please relax. The Ardanian armed forces pose no threat to Phonixes. You can't know that. She's the Inquisitor! I've got something for you. Would you tell the others? Bah! Ah, you're a wary one, aren't you? Okay, so you don't want them? I'm telling you, they're delicious. Fine, I'll eat them if you don't want to. Wait, 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 don't eat them, Sundere. Ha, ah, now you feel like talking? Oh yeah, those were drugs, look at them. That man is seeing Jesus right now. He is he is not on this earth no more. But I asked myself, what ulterior motive did you have to bring us such a gift? Well, about that, I'm looking for a particular phonics. Do you mean Pex? Okay, so we got him. Can you tell me where he is now? Unfortunately, he's gone. Oh shit. Gone? You mean like gone to another country still? Ah, uh, no, not like that. Oh shit, he's dead. He gathered a bunch of young folk nearby and was talking to him about something when all of a sudden a, Vis a Vasilius Antol came and took them all captive. I bet they're all spider food by now. We might still make it in time. We won't know until we, we try. It went off towards the ruined chapel of Danifas. Yo! Whoa! Whoa! whoa ow. <laughs> you saw how fast the health was dropping? Okay. Poison water. What you don't know is that I came prepared for this occasion. Okay, I mean, it still goes down, but not as fast as it was before. Jump up on the rock. Bro, this is the most my degeneracy has ever paid off. There's a bunch of them. Maybe we should come again later. It may be wise. Otherwise, the hunters may become the fodder. It's fine. No need to worry. I'll talk to him. I'm sure they'll listen to reason. I I need to see if this works. You've not exactly got a great track record, you know? Come on! Every fox has its day. Isn't that right, Nim? What an infectious energy he has. Very right. You can leave this to me. What are you doing? Oh, don't be afraid. Auntie Nim is your friend. That's why I said, they're like, who the fuck is this? Guys, we got new food. Now, mind telling me where your leader is? We're gonna eat you. Ah, gotcha. They'd be like, mama! Could I please have a moment of your time? That is a freaky ass looking spider. Their little phonics is a bit smaller than you and super, super cute. They mustered all their courage to come here. Does that ring any bells? No, not food. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I told you. <laughs> they looking at us and it's like, bro, the food walked to our house. You think she's getting through at all? Who can tell? Seems to be upsetting them, if I'm honest. Ah, so you're gonna play dumb, huh? Well, you are not fooling me. Give back the phonixes right now. He said, fuck you, my food. Why won't you listen? Name it, it's no use. Get out of there. Ah! Bro, don't jump at the screen like that. I'm not scared of spiders, but goddamn. Name, are you okay? Damn, that guy, she got clocked though. I was just trying to talk. That really flipping hurt. I look at it. I would assume that that would hurt. What's the harm in a little talking? Why is it always fight, fight, fight with you? Okay, get serious. Put the put the mittens on. Just talk to me, Archibald. Oh shit. There, <laughs> tit for tat. Now we're even, see? Bro, she put the mittens on him. Well, that sounds like failure to communicate, doesn't it? What do you think? Indeed. Unfortunately, it seems we're not getting out of this without a fight. I mean, it was a nice attempt, Nim. <laughs> Bro, looking at this thing makes me itch. Okay, Nia. Bro, look at Nia putting the mittens on. Look at it. Oh, putting the beats to this thing. Look at that. Look at that. Uh. Alright, I launched. Hey! 
real life. Like, I ain't never really got the chance to like test this out, but I like Nia with Nim. Okay, I'm, I want to see her level four. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Putting the combos on like Tifa. Oh, there you go. They're still alive. You come to help? About time, bitch. Is that a way to say thank you? Is someone here named Pex? Did you say Pex? I'm Pex. How did you know my name? Mix and Fonset Village asked us to find you. Mix did. What's the reason you went on this country hopping journey, Pex? From what I hear, you've been visiting the various Phonics communities and talking to their young people. I'll tell you. I've been gathering phonixes and arms to eradicate monsters. I don't think that y'all will be that effective. You say you met F Mix and Fonset, right? Ever since she's been attacked by a big bad monster I called a Demon King, she's been afraid to get out. Because of that, she can't even get back to her family in the village. She's been stuck for so long now. I want to defeat the Demon King and free Mix from her isolation. Wow, that's some story. But I guess my traveling is over. My mission is a success. Is that right? So I guess you found who you were looking for. Well, okay, the powerful ally I met at the end of my long long and perilous journey. That's you, Nim. Won't you come back to Lotharia with us and help us defeat the Demon King in his lair on the Isle of Urchin? Okay, so we're gonna go and fight a Demon King now. I wonder what that's gonna look like. That's the Demon King? Yeah, I, I don't know what I was expecting. Never mind. We're here now. Everyone's back safe and sound. <coughs> hey, come on. Give us some space. I can't breathe with all of you here like this. They look pretty happy. Why Phonexes make such racket, though? You make racket, bitch. Excuse me. What can I do for you, Nim? It's, uh... These nice Phonex folks are saying that they want to hear our tales of adventure. Ah. Tales of adventure, eh? They actually look good in that outfit. I say, let's let him hear it. So then, we roll up to the place where the monsters were, like... Ta-da! And what do we see, if not a big, angry-looking strong one? But I had a conversation with it first. I conversed, and conversed, and conversed. Uh, conversation implies both sides talking. What you did there was more of a monologue. That right. Nim very confident in talking, but in the end, nothing come out of it. Don't roast her while she's telling a story. It's just the monster had a short fuse and didn't want to engage in meaningful dialogue. If it was any other monster, I'm sure I could have convinced it. Oh, I'm sure. <gasps> Stop laughing! This is nice. Anyway, the monster suddenly gave me a headbutt, and it hurt so much I started crying. Don't tell them you started crying. But didn't you... suck him right back after that? Yeah, you did. You hit him so hard, all the other monsters winced at seeing it. Bro, in that outfit, Nia sitting cross-legged like that is dangerous for my channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, right then, my feelings were hurt too, and I lost my cool. Kitten Sunny tried to talk sense, but I didn't think and just went all out. So then what? Then what? So then, we went to town on those ruffians. Boom! Pow! Yeah, we got him good! Great win for Team Nim. This is so nice. Then we found and rescued this ragtag band of Phonics heroes. Oh, what wrong? The Denouement come too easily. Tora disappointed by poor plot pacing. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Tora. <laughs> Sorry, um, this Phonics and his friends are saying I'm the true hero. True hero? Well, since I went and saved them, they're calling that the birth of a true hero. What do I do? I will allow you to take the credit for this. True hero. It's got a nice ring to it. But I haven't even done anything. I don't deserve to be called a true hero. Girl. You put your body on the line to save all these little lives, Nim. Yeah, that's right. You took a problem we didn't even realize existed and resolved it quickly and efficiently. Yeah, get your flowers, girl. You make a great hero, Nim. I do, don't I? Don't get full of yourself now. <laughs> oh, maybe I shouldn't gloat, but this makes me super happy. Maybe you couldn't talk to the monsters, but the phonics definitely appreciate you trying. Woo! Appreciate the wholesome story, but Jesus Christ, they just put, they cropped it perfectly. Damn, I, I love I love watching these stories, dude.